beautiful people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me today here on Lumia. My name is Claire Summer. A big shout out to my Lumies, my amazing subscribers all over the world. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and for being part of this community as well. All right, today's pick a card reading is messages from your person. So urgent messages from your person. These are the things that they would like to say to you, but they feel unable to uh, for some reason and sort of messages from their higher self. So we're going to take a look at the energy surrounding that for you. I've got three groups for you today. I will insert an overhead picture both with and without crystals so that you can make your selection in the way that suits you best. We've got group one which is the double terminated amethyst, group two which is the pyrite cluster and group three which is the amethyst chevron point. While you make your selection, I just want to give a shout out to the company Mind Valley. This is not sponsored. It's just something that I've been uh, investing in while we have been in lockdown. 2020 has been a struggle for many people this year. And I found that the Mind Valley courses that they offer um, have been really beneficial. They've really helped to keep me positive and to sort of invest in my learning. So um, they have the most amazing programs, they're the most advanced programs in the world from the best teachers to help you reach your unlimited potential and to understand your own spiritual evolution. So the people who do these courses have been on Oprah, they're New York Times bestsellers, so these are really high caliber courses. Their courses cover loads of different topics like energy work, conscious relationships, conscious parenting, um, tapping into infinite abundance abundance, law of attraction, leadership, influence, memory and learning, spiritual awakening, all of these things. So they are so fascinating. So I've been doing a course called Life Book and another one called Duality, which is about energy work. And they've been like truly life-changing and amazing. So I wanted to recommend them to you because I know that um, many of us in the community are sort of like-minded and uh, we have like-minded interests and we're on similar journeys. So I just thought you know um, if it resonates with me it may resonate with you so check it out it's all linked in the description box they've got an all access program so if you are interested in more than one course then it's definitely worth getting the all access because then you get access to all of their hundreds of courses for the entire year for less than two dollars a day and they also do a two week money back guarantee so if you get into it and you find that it's not for you i don't know why that would be the case but if you do then they give you a no quibble money back guarantee within the first two weeks you can take a really good look around and see if it's for you and then also loads of their courses have free master classes so you can get involved with the master class and learn a bunch of stuff absolutely for free and most of their courses have these master classes attached to them so you can get loads and loads of information absolutely for free so but it has been the best money I have ever spent um, I absolutely love it it's really helped to kind of raise my vibration and keep me positive this year and help me to continue with my spiritual development so yeah I do recommend them they're called Mind Valley if you haven't heard of them before they're all linked in the description box so yeah check that out if it resonates but otherwise all the timestamps for your three groups are in the description box below this video um, jump to your timestamp and I will see you in a moment Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number one. This is for everyone who picked the beautiful Amethyst Double Terminated Point Crystal. It's so lovely with beautiful inclusions. All right, um, I am just getting over a cold. You may be able to hear it in my voice if my voice is a little bit croaky, so I apologize for that, but I'm happy to be here doing this reading for you. I'm gonna take a look at the energies around your connection and the messages from your person today, all right? so. Opening your reading with Eight of Swords in reverse. This is the Fountain Tarot that I'm using for you today. King of Swords. Six of Swords. Lots of Swords energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ace of Wands in reverse. Ten of Swords. Four of Wands. Knight of Wands in reverse. You've got Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands to close your reading. Okay then, so I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here very strongly as well as Leo's energy as well. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus that may resonate with you in your situation. If it doesn't, please don't worry about it too much. All right. Um, with this Eight of Swords in the reverse and the King of Swords, I feel like 
It's like your person's being very analytical. I feel like they're making decisions from their head and not from their heart. So they're looking at the practicalities of things, right? And um, it's like they're disconnected from their emotions or disconnected from their heart. So if you feel like you can't reach them, right, emotionally, you're trying to reach out to them and you're trying to kind of connect to them in that way and you feel like um, you're being met with a brick wall or you're not getting a lot back from them. I feel like they've got like either limited access to their emotions in this situation or no access to these deeper emotions. It's just like they're just letting their head uh, rule their decision making right and just decide what is best for this situation based on sort of logic or their own or practicalities to do with your situation maybe they're thinking about the long term maybe they're thinking about uh, finances or the distance between you or or something like this and this is kind of where they're at this is where they're making their decisions this is where they're coming from and it's like then they don't have a lot of access to those deeper emotions and not everybody does you know, not everybody has um, a lot of emotional intelligence. Not everybody has um, access to kind of connecting to deeper emotions in that way, in that emotional landscape. Um, and this is all that they've got to go on for them, okay, of kind of being really logical, of being really analytical, of kind of thinking, well, I'm not sure that this is for the best. Or, you know, I get this strong sense that they feel like they are doing their best by you, right? They feel like they're doing their best for the situation, but also by you, they feel like they are protecting you and that they're doing the right thing for everybody concerned in this situation with how it is that they're behaving, with the decision that they've made, okay? So they feel like they're being fair, they feel like they're being sensible, but I know that all you wanna do is just connect to their heart to kind of feel that love, that you know that they're capable of but there is this overarching feeling but they just I just sense that they feel like they're doing the best for you by kind of um, moving on or by taking a step back from this situation right now okay this isn't something that you can change in them this isn't something that you can force or um you know, if they can't connect to those feelings, they can't connect to those feelings, or if they don't want to, because what I'm sensing is they're doing, it's like they're numbing, right? They're stuffing a lot of emotions down and just being like, well, this is for the best. I'm not really gonna think about this. I'm gonna distract myself. I'm gonna keep busy, right? I can really feel it. And all they're doing all the time is just like pushing it to the back of their mind, pushing it down, pushing those emotions down and down and down inside themselves. And you know, the fact is when we do this, when we don't feel our emotions, when we push them down in this way, they do come out eventually. You know, we can run, but we can't hide. This is what's going on with your person, but they feel like they're doing the best for you by, by creating this distance, by taking this step back, by moving on from you or by ending it or whatever it is that's happening with them or whatever decision that they've made. They feel like, they honestly, honestly feel like they're doing the best for, for you, right? Like they're doing it to protect you. It's like they wanna protect you from further pain or from causing you pain. They don't wanna hurt you. They don't wanna hurt you. It's like they know that they can't give you what it is that you want and they don't wanna hurt you so they've either ended it or they've taken this step back from you. It's like they're keeping you at arm's length, okay? And there's this energy of protection around that which is interesting. Deep stuck energy with this ace of wands in the reverse, I see that maybe there's not a lot going on with this, there's not a lot of action, they're not taking action towards you, maybe they're not reaching out towards you, they don't have any plans to reach out towards you at this time, okay, because they've gone into themselves, they're in this very like stuck energy, I'm just seeing someone like really stuck in the mud, okay, they're really, um, how do I need to put it, just like they're committed to their way of seeing things. They're committed to the way that they're feeling and the way that they're dealing with things right now. 
You know, they're committed to this and they're kind of stuck in their ways. They're stuck in this energy right now. And I don't see them moving. They feel there's this energy here with this Ten of Swords. Now, this is the center of your reading. Look at this guy. Very powerful imagery here. <clears throat> there is this energy of deception. Okay, so there could be deception in your connection. If this is the case, it's something you already know about. It could be that your person is deceiving themselves, right? Um, you know, that the only person that they're really hurting is them. You know, by stuffing down these emotions, by not connecting to these emotions, by not really um, connecting to the depth of the connection that is available to them. The only person that they're really hurting is themselves, okay? Because they're not experiencing their full spiritual expression, okay? You're in each other's lives for a reason, to learn lessons, to experience certain feelings, and they're denying themselves this experience. This is what I'm seeing. There's also this energy of just like feeling, the reason why they're so stagnant, why everything's so stuck, is they're just feeling like they just wanna give up right? They just feel like they're just like, I just want to give up. I don't know what to do to make this work. I don't know what to do to make this right. I don't have the answers. Um, I feel like some of this like numbing and stuffing down of the emotions could be because they've been flooded by, by emotions. It's been too intense for them in the past. And now they're just like, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to hear about it. I'm going to push this to one side. I'm going to sweep it under the rug. I'm going to pretend that it doesn't exist, which is unhealthy. It's unhelpful. But the, I'm really feeling it in my heart chakra like so, so strongly. It's intense, right? But this is where they're at. They're just like, I'm just done with this. I feel like we're going around in circles. I feel like I don't know what to do to make this right. I feel like, um, I don't know how to kind of make this work or do the right thing, but there's this strong, strong, strong energy of kind of just giving up, of like defeat, like just, com just feeling defeated by this, you know, feeling overwhelmed by those emotions and just having to push them away and just feeling, feeling defeated by it, just thinking, I just can't make this work. And I feel so strongly that your person wants to find a solution to this, and this is why it's, there's a lot of frustration here. They wanna make you happy, and they don't know how. They wanna, um, you know, find solutions to this, and they don't know how, and they've sort of given up all hope of this, um, sorry, the light's not very good, you can't really see, but this four of wands, they've kind of given up all hope of being able to create something more solid, being able to create a solid foundation with this. So there is this energy of despondence with them, of kind of just like, I've had enough, I, I don't know what else to do, I don't know where else to go with this. It's like, I'm just seeing someone who doesn't know which way to turn. Right? both with this relationship and their life, they don't know which way to turn for the best to create success. And they feel like they've given up all hope on creating something positive, of something healthy, of something stable between you both. But it's what they really want, four of wands. In their heart of hearts, this is what they really want. They wanna be able to create something stable. Like their higher self, wants marriage, wants babies, depending on where you're at in your life and your journey. This is just a general reading, but you know, they want stability. They want a stable home life in their heart of hearts. And maybe I'm picking up that for some of them, they didn't come from a very stable home life or they didn't get very healthy messages to do with love and relationships, you know, uh, of those relationship skills when they were younger. And this is why they can't see their way out of this because they've got no blueprint for what, you know, for how to deal with conflict, for how to get in touch with deeper emotions. They've got no experience of doing this, is what I'm sensing. Knight of Wands in the reverse, this may, your person may have played a lot of games. They could have narcissistic tendencies or traits, or maybe they've, um, been acting in a, a way that is just sort of unhealthy for the connection. They may be hot and cold, um, but I do sense with this Knight of Wands in the reverse that there's been some game playing here. Um, 
when people do this, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad person. Often um, people do the best they can with the information that they have and that this is like a coping mechanism is what I'm hearing. Let me just take a sip of my tea. My voice is getting a little croaky. <clears throat> but look at this. Now, I see movement. I see change here. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this and they want to create a success out of it. I feel like your person wants someone who feels proud of them, right? They want to, like, from their higher self, in their heart of hearts, they want to do better. They want to do better than this, and they want to do better in their life. There's this undercurrent of them wanting to be respected by society, by the people around them, by their family, by you. And this is part of their soul's journey, that they're working towards this. So it may be that they're a little bit lost in their life. Maybe that they don't know which direction they're going in. Okay, maybe they feel a bit um, unsatisfied or unfulfilled. And part of their soul's journey is to find that fulfillment, to become more authentic, to get closer to their, their own authenticity and, and their own life's purpose. I feel that they've strayed quite far from their own life's purpose. So your connection with them is wrapped up in this in sort of their, their own bigger issues. But they wanna be someone who is respected in society and who is respected by their partner. So, and this is something that they're working on. You know, this isn't gonna be a quick turnaround, it's something that they're working on, but they wanna um, receive some recognition, they wanna have better standing in society, they wanna be a better person, they wanna develop their character. Um, and they want someone who can be proud of them. This is an important need for them. I think it's a need that they don't really understand. I think it's a need that they haven't articulated, but they have this need deep, deep within them for recognition, for someone to respect them. And this is something that's part of their journey that they're gonna be working on. Let's clarify with your Oracle cards. Right, okay, wow. Okay, we have the cards stuck. So this is very similar to this Ace of Wands in the reverse that we were talking about, that kind of stuck in the mud, stuck in their opinions, stuck in their ways. This is mirroring that energy, that stuck energy that they're in at this time. We have the card Spring. So the springtime may be significant to you for your connection. Um, this also indicates like a blossoming new growth here. Okay, so like cycling out of this kind of stuck energy, this kind of uh, energy that they're in at the moment and being able to kind of be reborn, okay, to bring some fresh energy to this connection, to this situation. We have the card received, okay, so um, they're receiving downloads, they're receiving spiritual downloads, spiritual knowledge, this is part of their growth um, and sort of spiritual understanding as a result of your connection, as a result of meeting you, as a result of being together, okay, so they are learning stuff, they're in this energy of receiving downloads right now. This can't be rushed. This is part of their spiritual journey, but they are um, getting a greater understanding, which I think is really good if they're learning lessons. We have this card transmutation. This is like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Very positive energy for you. Okay, this is somebody who wants to rise. I'm getting this message so strongly. It's a very specific message if it's resonating with you, but it's just like, this is someone who wants to rise up, maybe out of their poor circumstances or their financial situation or their uh, difficult background or from this can, the, the way that this um, they've shown up to this connection. This is someone who really, really, really wants to put the work in and level up. And this is the spiritual lesson, the spiritual understanding that they're going through now. This is someone who wants to transform into somebody who is powerful, who is somebody who is successful, who is someone who has financial success, who is someone who is respected. It's like they want to do a 180 in their life. And that energy is here for transforming this. So they want you to know that they want to be a better person. They want to be a better person for you. They want to be a better person for their family. Um, and that part of the reason why they can't connect to you is because they're going through this process of transformation and they want to transform into someone who is better. They want to level up. They want to develop their character. They know that they can do better than this. 
All right, they know that they can do better than you know how they've been showing up to life right now. And this may not be something that they can articulate or that they're fully connected to, but they will. And they have this potential to be this person. And this is what's inside them all the time, right? This is what they're struggling with. This is why they can't settle. This is why they can't connect to you. This is why they can't access those emotions because there's inner turmoil there because they know that they can be a better person than they are. Not that they're a bad person, but there's something within them that needs to be born, that needs to come out of this, that needs to um, be expressed. And I've got to show you this, we have the card wedding. So again, they want to be this more solid person in their heart of hearts from their higher self. They want to be this more solid person who is committed who is committed for the long term. It may be that eventually you do marry this person or that they, they are marriage material. Um, it could be that you met them at a wedding. Um, it could be that somebody very close to them gets married and this is the, the spark that they connect to which kind of makes them want to level up. Make them think, yeah, yeah, I want to be more grown up now. I want to be more mature. Or I want what they've got. Okay, so, but this speaks of um, a leveling up and of a longer term commitment and that they see you as someone that they could imagine themselves being married to, right? And that's everything that I have for you in this reading. It's been quite a deep reading. I know that I don't kind of live on the surface of things um, when I do my readings. They're sort of, um, they're just for people who, who want to, you know, really get to grips with things and, and get those deeper messages. That's what my channel is for on the whole. Um, but yeah, let me know how it resonates down in the comments. I've loved it so much. If you feel called to and you want to find out more about your connection, I do recommend Misha. She reads the Akashic Records. Um, I work with her. She is uh, deeply spiritual, deeply healing, uh, very, very genuine. And uh, she is the real deal, extremely gifted. I've had so much amazing feedback from people who have worked with her, who I have sent her way and they come back to me and they're just like gosh this was just such a profound experience for me so check Misha out if that resonates with you and you're looking to get your Akashic records read um, it's linked under healing services in the description box but I'm sending you lots of love and light in your situation and I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumia take care bye bye Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number two. This is for everyone who picked the stunning and amazing pyrite quartz, uh, sorry, pyrite and quartz crystal cluster. It is just absolutely stunning. It's my favorite piece in the collection. All right, let's take a look at the energy surrounding your connection and the messages from your person and from their higher self what it is that they want to tell you. So I'll begin with your tarot and then I will clarify with your oracle cards a little bit later in the reading. Opening your reading with a powerful high priestess. I love to see the high priestess in a reading. Knight of Pentacles, you have Page of Wands, Page of Swords, Two of Wands, Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and then closing your reading with the Ace of Cups. This is a super interesting reading that we've got here. I see Pisces energy here, Taurus energy, and Leo's energy quite strongly. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, that may resonate with you um, in your situation. If it doesn't, please don't worry about it too much. Um, there is a lot more to this situation than meets the eye. I feel like your person um, is really connected to you in the 5D. So even if you are not together in the 3D um, or you're taking a break or there's some distance between you both, you're always still connected in the 5D. I feel like you have a strong spiritual connection with this person and your person from their higher self is aware of this. So they sort of pick up on your emotions. They pick up on um, your energy and the messages that you send them, you know, so if you send them a message in the 5D from your third eye, you want to connect with them in that way, um, you know, telepathically, if you want to send them a message in that way, um, then you can do that and it will be received by them because they are able to kind of pick up on those uh, subtle energies, even if they're not aware of it, if it's not something that they uh, resonate with in that way, like uh, mentally they're not sort of aware of it they can they do have this ability with you because you are so um connected like this so 
Um, I feel like they're really dreaming of you. I feel like um, there's a lot more to this situation than meets the eye. What I'm hearing is that they're playing their cards quite close to their chest. I feel like this is someone who is a little bit distant in some way, right? Maybe physically distant or emotionally. It's like, well, I don't know how to describe it. It's like kind of muffled or whatever. The energy is muffled or their, their communication is muffled um, in some way. So there's this kind of lack of clarity. Something is hidden. I think that um, it's not just that they're hiding things from you. There's no deception here. It's just like there are things that are hidden from them about the nature of the connection, about... Um, that maybe even the nature of love and relationships that they have yet to learn, that they've yet to understand. And these are still very much in the spiritual realm. They're still very much in a sort of energetic sort of thing. And they've yet to materialize, anchor down into reality, right? Into the 3D world. And this is what I'm seeing here. So, but look at the High Priestess. She knows all. She knows all. So there's more to be revealed here, both to your person and to you. And there's more to come in this connection. <laughs> They're quite happy with the, this. Is somebody with this Knight of Pentacles who's quite happy with um, sort of the way they're going about things and the way that things are. There's just something about this where they just like they're just kind of doing them, right? They're just doing them and they're happy with what it is that's going on and they're happy with the way that they're behaving and they're happy with the way that things are progressing. They are building up to something else though. There is this kind of slow move forward, this slow realisation that's going on with them. I mean, you know, this guy is the slowest mover in the tarot so um, don't expect a lot of fast change with this person. Um, they're quite traditional, it's just like they like things how they like them and they're kind of doing things in the way that feels kind of safe to them and at a pace that feels okay for them. Um, and this is kind of what they're happy with. So it may be the case that you're being invited to dance to their tune, right? Or to do things their way. Um, and that they're being a little bit conservative, a little bit... Um, you know, maybe they're holding back a little bit. Maybe they just want to take things slowly or they want to take things slower than you do. Um, and this is what makes them feel safe. They want to play it safe is what I'm hearing. This is the message that they've got for you. They, they're inclined to play it safe with their heart, right? With not being too vulnerable, not opening up too much. Okay, they want to make sure that everything's you know, just kind of in order or just the way that they like things or just in, you know, they want to do connections and relationships in a way that makes them feel safe. So there's just this energy of them. I definitely sense that they're being kind of slower than you would like, like with coming forward with things. I feel like there's been like, look at this. <clears throat> page of Wands, the Page of Swords. I see a lot of backwards and forwards with this. I feel like a lot of um, unsatisfactory communication where you're just like, well, we're not really saying anything that's particularly meaningful and we're not really getting anywhere with this and you're kind of inviting them to kind of get closer to you and to open up more. Or maybe they're all up in your face one minute and you just think, oh yes, we're making progress and I'm like, you know, you're really connecting to this from the heart and I really sense that and then the next minute they're kind of distant and they're just kind of checking in with you now and again or, you know, uh, connecting to you on social media but not connecting to you directly, right? So I see a lot of backwards and forwards, a lot of hot and cold, right? So if you don't know where you stand, this is why. And this is like someone who doesn't know what they want. In all honesty, they like your attention. They like that you're interested in them because you're a catch and you're an amazing person, right? But they don't know what it is that they want. And this is why there's a, I'm hearing cat and mouse. So maybe there's a bit of chasing been going on as well. Okay, so maybe they get in and you get invested in it and then they pull away and then you're being invited to chase. Okay. So they may like a little bit of this energy, you know, it may kind of feed them a little bit. Um, 
or it may just be the way that they do things. As in, with these two pages together, there is an element of immaturity here. So maybe a lack of emotional intelligence, a lack of emotional maturity, um, and just this energy of just kind of like the feelings or the connection not being able to develop in some way like not taking it to the next level, not going any deeper, things really staying on the surface. And I just feel like your person's kind of quite happy just being like this. They're just happy having things on the surface. They're happy kind of plodding along with no real direction. Um, it doesn't bother them that they're not, um, that this is undefined, right? in the heart of hearts, like in the, in the way that it worries you. And you're just like, well, I want to know how you really feel and I want to know where this is really going. And they don't really know how they really feel and where this is really going. But it isn't causing them a lot of anxiety. They're not really worried about it. It's like it's not on their radar to kind of think about things at that depth or at that level or to connect like that. So if you're just like, what is it that you want? And they're not telling you, it's because they don't really know and they haven't really thought about it. Okay, they enjoy the games, they enjoy the attention, they enjoy knowing you, they enjoy, you know, getting your attention and experiencing your energy. It gives them, you know, there's free sun there, it gives them excitement, they are attracted to you, they love being in contact with you, they love the energy that you give them, right? Um, they love flirting with you and whatever it is that you're sharing with them. Seems a bit surface level though uh, to me. At the center of your reading, there's this kind of decision, this two of wands. As I'm looking at it here on, on the desk, it, it's like a gateway, right? Dividing the two sections of this reading. It's like this gateway, there's a decision to be made. Your person is making a decision. They're weighing up their options about what it is that they want. Or perhaps they've already made this decision. Like maybe they decided, oh no, actually, they've said to you, look, I don't want a relationship or I don't want this. Okay, maybe directly or indirectly. This is what I'm seeing. This kind of split is what I'm seeing. Maybe the relationship split. Maybe you decided to go your separate ways. If you, you know, I just wonder if there's been a lot of nonsense in this connection, whether they've just kind of, what they've shown up with is just kind of some nonsense. Nothing substantial, nothing real, right? So, I feel like they may have pulled away from this or maybe you've decided, look, enough is enough. Maybe that's what the decision was because we've got this six of swords. This is kind of like moving on, but they've, you know, what they've moved on to, we've got these two fives, five of pentacles, five of cups. So either they're considering moving on from this connection or there is this distance between you, but your person feels like they're out in the cold. They're feeling, they're really in like a lack mentality. They miss your warmth. And there's this energy of regret here. So I don't know whether they've done something that they regret, you know, maybe they've acted out of their integrity or out of alignment with their integrity and now they regret it. Or maybe they just regret all the nonsense that they showed up with in the hot and cold. Maybe they're just like, gosh, you know, it's like that, I don't know what I've got till it's gone. So until you've, uh, you know, you're absent in their life, but to, until you've pulled away your energy from them, when you pull your energy off this connection and off this person, they will feel your absence. They will feel your absence. You know, when you go and put your attention somewhere else, onto somebody else or onto yourself and your own goals and dreams, and just be like, well, I'm not gonna check up on you on social media. I'm not going to ask you any more questions because you've had plenty of chances, um, right? Um, and I'm going to focus on myself. They will feel your absence and they will feel it keenly. They will feel it painfully for them because it brings a realisation and the realisation is that they love you. Look at this. This is a powerful message for you. So whether this has happened already, or it could be that you are separated, right? But you haven't yet taken your energy off of that person. But when you do, right, take it off of them, turn it back, turn it back onto yourself. They're gonna feel your absence. And this is gonna be the spark that makes them realize that 
that, that puts them in touch with the depth of their emotions. They, what I'm hearing is the wake up call. This is the wake up call that they need. Maybe you start dating other people, not to make them jealous, but for you, right? For you to keep your options open. Maybe you do that or maybe you just invest in yourself, okay? Maybe you plan a trip, maybe you start studying something, right? You invest in yourself and then they will feel that your energy is no longer coming towards them, that you're not kind of getting invested in it. This is the wake up call that they need. This is what they want to tell you, okay? They cannot connect to those feelings. At the moment, it's just going to be more of the same, more of the nonsense, more of the surface level stuff. But there is love here. Okay, they do have a beautiful loving heart. They haven't, um, what do I want to say? Like acknowledged or recognized the potential of this connection and of you and your magic and your worth and what a treasure you are. They haven't seen it. Doesn't mean that you need to determine your value by how they perceive you, but they will. And there's this waking up to this love and this is the outcome of your reading. Beautiful Ace of Cups. So, maybe you're in separation now, but whatever it is, that absence is the thing that's gonna trigger them to kind of connect to those feelings um, at a deeper level. Very powerful. Okay, all right, we have the card. I'm just checking out your oracle cards. I've got the card regret. Exactly what we were talking about. This is exactly the same energies as this five of pentacles and the five of cups next to each other like this, of regretting it. Maybe regretting letting you go, um, maybe regretting how they behave, but definitely strong energy of regret here, okay? Um, we have the card understanding. This is them, look at the light, the beams of light. This is them like getting that understanding. Maybe this is like mirroring the high priestess as well, of them getting those downloads of understanding, uh, you know, that they've maybe been an idiot or maybe missed an opportunity or maybe let something go that was special or maybe that they've acted outside of their integrity. They're getting the understanding. They understand now. They understand the depth of the connection, right? Um, we have the card release, right? This is kind of them letting go, letting go of their old ideas, letting go of this kind of, uh, you know, being slow to come round, of being stuck, of like the old energies here, okay? There's like this shedding is what I'm hearing of like old ideas, old ways of being, old ways of connecting to people. There's this shedding and they're releasing that. They're kind of letting that go, letting go of those, um, lower vibrational energies. This could be a message for you as well, releasing of just like we were talking about it, putting your attention back on yourself where it belongs for a little bit. Let them go and let them feel your absence energetically. Okay, and we have some really beautiful positive cards to go along with this Ace of Cups, this love that is here. Um, we have the card engagement. Okay. Uh, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So they're waking up to this love. They're waking up to the depth of the connection and they're preparing themselves to be more committed. They're going to be open to being more committed. This is what they want to tell you, that they love you and that there is this potential here for commitment. So they will wake up to this potential. So it could be that you do get engaged. Um, often this to me represents just kind of like uh, being exclusive or kind of getting serious about things. You know, having that, uh, you know, conversation about commitment in this way. And we have this beautiful card, Eternal Flame. Look at this from the Universal Love Oracle deck. This to me says that uh, you know, they're carrying this torch for you. They have this love, I feel it in the heart space, has been ignited within them. And this eternal flame is just like, no matter what happens in the future, they will always carry a torch for you, right? I see that here. But also this eternal flame represents that you have known each other through many lifetimes, that this is no ordinary connection, that it's no ordinary relationship. And that you've got a lot of karma kind of woven into one another. You've had a lot of experiences together already. You've loved each other 
um, in other lifetimes and will continue to in lifetimes going forward. So this is a love that never dies, I think. So if you're feeling it at that level, this is why. So and this is what your person wants you to know, that they're waking up to this. They understand um, what a beautiful connection this is. All right. That's everything that I have for you in this reading. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. It's a beautiful way of uh, supporting free tarot here on YouTube, all right? If you feel called to, please check out my friend Nicole. She is an intuitive coach and she specializes in relationships. So if you want to um, explore your relationship patterns or talk about relationship issues, um, she can really help you to kind of move forward with that and get you, um, connect you to sort of insights about that. She is very genuine. She is um, a very beautiful healing soul and um, super amazing at what she does. So um, being in her presence is, is a really special experience and she has a really special gift for what it is that she does. So if that resonates with you, if you want to explore more about your relationship or your relationship patterns, check out Nicole's Intuitive Coaching. It is linked in the description box under Healing Services. All right, but have an amazing week. I'm sending you lots of love and light in your situation, and I hope to see you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to your reading to everyone who picked group number three. This is for everyone who picked the beautiful uh, Amethyst Chevron Point. Amazing natural formation. It's very, very cool. I love it so much. All right, I'm going to take a look at your cards. We're going to look at the energy surrounding your situation with your person and what it is that they want to tell you from their higher self. All right, I'll begin with your tarot and I will clarify with your oracle cards later. So Got the card Strength. This is the Fountain Tarot that I'm using today. The Chariot. Seven of Wands. Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords. And the Hermit. That is super interesting. So I see Leo's energy represented here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here, as well as Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So that may resonate with you in your situation. If it doesn't, please don't worry about it. These are just the energies that are here. Remember, it's just a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? So powerful energies to open your reading here with the strength of the chariot, two major arcana cards here. Um, I feel like your person, they want to tell you that they have been, this, this situation, this connection that you've got, I feel like this is a healthy connection that you've got going on with this person, but that there are some issues. Your person has been in, put in touch with um, aspects of themselves that they haven't explored before. They've had to face a lot of their fears to do with love and relationships as a result of exploring this connection with you, okay? So they've come up against things that they've found very triggering, right? Maybe to do with love and relationships, maybe to do with communication, maybe to do with loving somebody at that level or opening themselves up to vulnerability. But they've had to... Um, whatever's happened has been very triggering for them and they've sort of had to put themselves um, in a position that has made them feel very vulnerable. This strength card is a card of the heart, the sacred heart. I love to see this as the opening to your reading. This is genuine love. This is real love. This is kind of love that has been forged in the crucible is what I'm seeing in my mind. It's like it's golden, right? It's, it's genuine. It's made out of something real. Now, with this chariot energy as well, I see a lot of force behind this, a lot of impetus, a lot of energy involved in this, a lot of passion, okay? I see that your person is, you know, they're saying they wanna move forward with this, but there is this inner conflict that they are going through where they are torn between their head and their heart. They're torn between this genuine love that they have for you and maybe practical matters or practical issues right? Uh, however that resonates for you. And with the seven of wands, this is it's causing them a lot of stress. 
is causing them a lot of stress and this may not be something that they've talked about with you or that they've been able to articulate you know maybe they're stuffing things down maybe they're hiding things from you maybe they're hiding how they really feel or what it is that they're really going through okay not everybody talks about what it is that they're dealing with in an, in an extrovert way like by really talking things through some people I call it going into the cave right they just kind of this is what I do when I'm kind of overwhelmed with emotions is that I take a step back and I have to process things on my own and your person may be like this not everybody extroverts their feelings and talks about them and expresses them sometimes when feelings are very intense and this is what I'm seeing here they can retreat they can withdraw they can shut down it doesn't mean that they don't feel, right? And maybe they're so triggered they've had to take a step back from it, but it's causing them a lot of turmoil, a lot of inner turmoil, a lot of emotional turmoil, a lot of stress, this triggering process that has happened for them, right? All the questions that have come up as a result of this, all the issues that they've had to deal with, maybe they're learning new skills, maybe they're getting in touch with uh, parts of themselves that they haven't accessed before. It feels very human to me. I don't know how to describe it. It just feels like it's really very human, like part of the human experience. I don't see this as unhealthy. I don't see that this is a bad person in any way. I just feel like they've come up against some strong emotions. They've come up against some of their humanness, some of their own limitations that they have. Maybe these limitations are self-imposed. Maybe they're the limitations of the mind or of their experience. This is what I'm seeing, very powerful. The beautiful Queen of Cups is here. There is love here, they want you to know this. They see you as a treasure, right? They see you as precious, right? Um, maybe you don't resonate with that if you're a guy, but just as special, um, as a special person in their life, as a special connection. They know that you. they need to do right by you, that they need to do the right thing by you because you are not to be messed with, that they don't want to break you, they don't, there's none of this in their energy of kind of wanting to play games or wanting to mess with you or wanting to undermine you or to kind of uh, project their hurt onto you or any of that. They see this as a special connection. They see this as um, something to be held on to, something to be treasured. They see, they recognize your own vulnerability as well. That you have your heart on your sleeve, that you have this beautiful open heart, that you are a special person and they see all this. They see all this. It's kind of magical in a way. There is this beautiful energy with the page of pentacles and the three of pentacles. Now, this indicates like a desire to work on this. Right, a desire to find solutions. I feel like there are some practical issues in your connection. This could be to do with finances. It could be to do with the pressure of their work or their studies, right? It could be to do with an ex or an ex-wife or an ex-husband, or maybe they've got a family or children, right? It's just a general reading, but I'm just saying there is this the Three of Pentacles often represents a third party. That may be the case for you. If it is, you already know about it. But what I'm seeing is that there is like a third party influence, like in terms of responsibilities, not in terms of a person, right? So to do with things that take up their time, things that take up their emotions, things to do um, that take up their mental headspace, and maybe practical solutions that need to be found. So say, um, you don't have enough money to start out on a life together or they're studying for some sort of um, qualification and that is taking up a lot of their time and their money and it's like all they've got the bandwidth for. So what I'm seeing is that there are practical issues which are affecting this relationship as many relationships, you know, in real life, you know, we can love people, but there are also practical considerations to do with um, lifestyle matching. So I feel like they, 
want you to know how much they love you and that they recognize that you are a treasure and that they recognize that this is a special connection, but also they are bogged down in real life matters. You know, and kind of on a, they're a good person and they want to create a good future or I overcome these problems, but there is this great desire within them to find solutions. Right? These are both cards about practicality. So maybe there are some practicalities here which need to be addressed. Maybe you live miles away from each other. Maybe finance is a problem. Maybe they've got a family already or something like this. It's just a general reading. So I'm just putting out examples of how this may resonate for you. So you can take it how it resonates um, in your own situation. But Spirit is really highlighting that they, your person is very aware of... The practical issues that uh, and that solutions need to be found but there is this great willingness to be able to do that because they want to work towards this happiness you bring them so much happiness and they want you to know this like like beautiful emotional satisfaction like um, a beautiful emotional fulfillment their wish from their heart of hearts from their inner self from their higher self is to make this work to find these solutions to make this work. Nothing would make them happier than to, I can't believe how different the energy is from this reading to the previous reading and the one before. It's just, they're like, I'm getting like totally different energies here. I see a lot of possibility here with this. Right, like if you don't give in to your fears, if you don't give in to, um, limiting beliefs and kind of worst case scenarios and focus on what it is that you do want. I just see two really lovely people in a really lovely relationship, but there is this great impetus here, this great um, desire to find solutions and to make this work and to put the work in and to do what it takes to create this happiness. But I've got to tell you that your person right now, Nine of Swords to the Hermit, is going through, they're doing a lot of soul searching, okay? This isn't something you can help them with. This isn't something that they want to talk about with you. This isn't something that you can rush. And I don't know what's going to come out of this process that they're going through. For some of them, they're going through a dark night of the soul, right? What is it that I want to say? It's just like 2020 has been very difficult. Maybe this has had a big impact on them. Maybe they're earning less money. Maybe they've lost their job. Maybe um, it's just affected them, the isolation or being apart from you or being apart from their family or their friends or the things that build them up or give them strength. Or maybe it's just the certain time in their life. And a lot of things have culminated all together in that time. So I feel like maybe your person is experiencing some anxiety or some depression or a low mood or they're just working through some stuff. So it could be a dark night of the soul or it could just be this soul searching. I just see like kind of digging up through soil and leaves of kind of like working through things, working, you know, digging things over, turning things over, turning those rocks over, of kind of looking underneath, seeing what's there. This isn't an easy process. This isn't an easy process for them. And what I'm hearing is this isn't an easy time for them in their life, in their life's journey in this lifetime. So I don't know what's going to come as a result of this soul searching, but they want you to know, your person wants you to know that this is what they're doing right now. So if they feel distant to you, they feel shut down to you. There is a lot going on under the surface. There is this inner turmoil that they are experiencing, but they do recognize the beauty and the depth of this connection and this love, all right? Um, and it may be that they need some time on their own. Like I was saying, this isn't a journey that you can go on with them. This, this processing is something that they need to do by themselves. They need to come to these conclusions on their own, you cannot help them because it's it's their own journey, right? <clears throat> Let's take a look at your oracle cards. Right, we've got some interesting things coming up. We've got the card forgiveness. So maybe your person really wants you to forgive them for hurting you, for pushing you away, for any mistakes that they've made. 
I feel like they feel a bit sorry for themselves sometimes, just like, gosh, this is a mess, I didn't mean for this to happen. Um, so I feel within them there is this great need to, for forgiveness from you for whatever's happening or for how they've behaved, all right? We have the card destruction. This is the breaking down of the old ways to create something new. It could be that for many of you, if you're on a break or you're separated, that was quite dramatic. Um, it could also indicate that your person has been a little bit self-sabotaging um, in this connection in some way. Maybe if they've become overwhelmed in some way and they didn't know how to tell you or how to talk about their emotions, that they kind of self-sabotaged it. Um, instead as a way of getting the space that they need rather than just for asking for it, um, which would have been the healthier, uh, more straightforward thing to do. Uh, we have this card, Mask. I definitely sense that your person is kind of hiding how they really feel, um, hiding behind a veneer. Maybe they're acting cool. Maybe they're acting like everything's okay and that they're okay. Um, but I don't think that this is the case with them, definitely. This soul searching is going on. They may not have like fully committed to it or fully connected to this process and what it is that they need to do or to go through. But definitely this energy of them kind of hiding um, behind a veneer. We have this beautiful card of transience from the Universal Love Oracle deck. Okay, this is just saying that this is temporary. What it is that they're going through, the way that they're feeling, the way that they're dealing with things is temporary. This isn't something that they're stuck in. This isn't something where they're not gonna learn anything. This is like, just, it's like a landscape that they're just passing through. They're just passing through this experience, these emotions, and they will come out on the other side of it, all right? So this is a transitory experience for them. Right, and we have the card, you deserve love, you are lovable. So I feel like maybe your person is dealing with some issues of feeling unworthy um, of your love, of this, there's so much. They see how beautiful the love is that you have to offer them. And I feel like they wanna tell you that they wish that they could offer love as easily as, you know, like, that it was as easy for them as it is for you to, to be vulnerable, to have your heart open, to love and to receive love. Not everybody is used to being able to receive love or capable of doing that. So they're coming up against this energy of, you know, do they feel worthy or of, you know, their own worthiness to receive the pure love that you have to give them? And this is very triggering for them. All right. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all the messages from your person today. I hope you have found this reading helpful in some way. Let me know how it resonates in the comments and give it a thumbs up if um, you found it helpful or you enjoyed it because it's a beautiful way of supporting free tarot here on YouTube. If you feel called to um, and you want to find out more, I've written two beautiful books, Attract Soulmate Love and Feminine Frequency. I've written those books from the heart and they are for the feminine energy partner. So that's the person who likes to be pursued rather than the pursuer. So if that's you, there is just a powerhouse of information in these books. People writing to me saying that they wish they'd known this stuff years ago, that it would have helped them out so, so much. So if that resonates with you, if you resonate with this channel, then um, I think you will resonate with the messages in these books. Do check them out um, if you feel called to. They are linked in the description box and there is loads more about me and what I have to offer on my website, which is lumiertarot.com and that is also linked below. But have an amazing week. I'm sending you lots of love and light. I look forward to seeing you again soon here on Lumiere. Take care. Bye-bye.